Hello everyone! Welcome to our week 7 for second quarter in grade 10 science. Our topic is qualitative characteristics according to orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by lenses. In the previous lesson, you explored about the qualitative characteristics of images formed by mirrors, both plane and curved mirrors. In this lesson, you will now learn about the basic information about lenses and how they work. Just like in mirrors, you will also explore the qualitative characteristics of images formed by lenses. Before we start our lesson, let us have a short activity. This is called mirror or lens. You have to guess whether the following picture is a mirror or an example of a lens. Are you ready? You will only have 5 seconds to guess each, each picture. Let's start. Correct, this is an example of a mirror. How about this? Very good, this is a lens. Another one. Yes, this is also a lens, a magnifying glass. Next. Very good, the correct answer is mirror. How about this one? Correct. The answer is lens. Next. Okay, so this is an example of lens. Next. The correct answer is mirror. Very good. How about this one? This is also a mirror. And last but not the least, this is an example of a mirror. Very good. Do you know what are the differences between mirror and lenses? The most apparent distinction between mirrors and lenses are mirrors reflect light rays or the light bounces back, while the light rays are refracted or simply pass through through a lens. A mirror has only one focal point, while the lens has two focal points each on either side. A lens, a lens works by refraction of light. Light rays bend as they pass through the lens, resulting to a change in direction. This means the rays seem to come from a point that's closer or further away from where they actually originate, and that's what makes objects seen through a lens seem either bigger or smaller than they really are. Lenses are made of substance like glass or plastic which bend light rays. We have two kinds of lenses. The first one is the converging lenses. Converging lens or convex which is thicker at the middle than at the edge. It converges light that passes through it at a particular point called the focal point or the focus. The other one is the diverging lens or the concave, which is thicker at the edge than at the middle. Under converging lenses, we have the following examples. We have the double convex, the plano convex, and the converging meniscus. For the diverging lenses, we have the double concave, the plano concave, and the diverging meniscus. Lenses, just like curved mirrors, can form images that are real or virtual. Real images formed by lenses are inverted images that can be seen by projecting it on a screen, while virtual images are upright images that are seen directly. Spherical lenses usually have two centers of curvature, which are the centers of the intersecting spheres which form the lens surfaces. We have the vertex, represented by the capital letter V. This is the optical center or geometric center of the lens. Next, we have the principal axis, represented by capital letter P. This is the line joining the centers of curvature and passes through the optical center. Next, we have the secondary ray. Secondary ray, represented by letter S, is the ray passing through the optical center but not parallel to the principal axis. And last, we have the focal length, represented by small letter F. 
This is the distance between the focus and the optical center. Graphically determine the position and characteristic of the image formed in lenses, the ray diagram can be used. Ray 1 or F or PF ray is an incident ray parallel to the principal axis and is refracted through the focus. Ray 2 or V ray is an incident ray along the secondary axis which is not appreciably refracted as it passes through the optical center or the vertex of the lens. From the object, draw ray 1 or the PF ray. Then from the same point on the object, draw ray 2 or the V ray. The intersection of the ray is the image point corresponding to the object point. For example, if you started diagramming from the tip, from the tip of the arrow shape object, the intersection of the refracted ray is also at the tip of the arrow shape image. Images formed are qualitatively described according to its location, orientation, size, and type. So we have the acronym loss for location, orientation, size, and type. Images may fall at points identified along the principal axis such as at the focus F, at twice the focus 2F, between F and 2F, between F and vertex B, or beyond 2F. Next, according to its orientation, images may be inverted or upright or in the erect position. The relative size of the image compared to the object may be diminished or reduced. It may be also enlarged or at the same size. Image formed by a lens that is on the same side as the object is a virtual image while image formed on the other side is a real image. Okay, now let us answer your learning task 1. For this task, you have to identify if the given lens is converging or diverging. You will just have to write converging or diverging. The correct answers are For your learning task 2, construct ray diagrams to locate and describe the image form by a thin lens at different positions of the object from the lens. Use red ink for ray 1, black ink for ray 2, and red ink for the image. Describe the image form in terms of loss or L for location, O for orientation, S for size, and T for type. For your learning task 3, complete the table with the information gathered from the ray diagramming test you have completed. And that's it! For your learning task 4, Complete the table below with the most appropriate answer. And that will be all for today. Thank you everyone and God bless!